Today I'm going to be visiting Palma, the capital of Mallorca and exploring this beautiful city. However, first things first and it was time for some breakfast. I went to a small restaurant called By Nicole. I decided to go for a ham cheese and salad baguette, which was just what I needed to start my day off right. I then headed over to the bus stop to catch a ride into the city centre. The bus number is 25 and takes about 20 minutes and costs 2 euros each way. And the bus dropped me off opposite the harbour so it was rude not to go and take a little look. I stopped off at a bar called Veredo Palma for a drink and to check out the ships. It's always nice to see a Virgin Voyages ship in port. I've really enjoyed my time sailing with them and I'd love to get on board one of their ships again soon. If you've ever been on one of the Virgin Voyages ships, please let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. The view of the harbour from here was magnificent. I then walked towards the city centre. And if you'd like to jump on the Ho Ho bus, you can do so here. It costs around 23 euros for the day. Which I didn't think was too expensive. I was in the mood for more of an amble around the city and of course the first place to visit was the amazing Cathedral de Santa Maria de Palma de Mallorca. To the left is the Royal Palace of La Almudaina and it's one of the official residences of the Spanish Royal Family. And after admiring the views from here, I decided to go up these steps to take a closer look. Below is Parc de la Mar, which was created in the 1970s when the road opposite was constructed to emulate the Mediterranean Sea. Construction of the cathedral started in 1299 in a Gothic style and was completed in 1601. The architecture is incredible and to think that none of this was created using modern machinery or computers. It was just hand tools, plenty of hard work and many, many years. The castle was constructed around a Muslim Alcazar from 1281 until 1343, with several further modifications since. You can go inside the cathedral and it's recommended to book online beforehand to avoid the queues and this does cost 9 euros. Unfortunately photographs and recordings aren't allowed so I can't show you what it's like inside. Behind the cathedral are narrow streets which have the occasional shop and small cafes. And if you need to cool down, you can always try some amazing gelato. I was headed to Plaza del Cord, which is famous for its 600 year old olive trees. I 
wanted to visit a patisserie, so I went to Kanakati to relive my youth when I had family holidays in Mallorca. My favourite thing to have were ensamada, which are spiral shaped fluffy pastries covered in sugar. And they had a few different varieties of that here. So I went for one of these along with a glass of chocolate milk. It really was like being six years old again. I was soon outside trying to burn off some of those calories. But I'll be honest, it was absolutely delicious. I then walked past another church and headed along some more narrow streets. And there were several of these pretty courtyards too. This is the modernist building Can Fortisere, designed by jeweller Luis Fortisere in a style inspired by Anthony Gaudi. And in total contrast, opposite is a hard rock cafe shop. Just ahead is Placia del Marques de Palma. It has artists selling their wares and a small cafe. It also has these two columns which are named after the legend of Samson. And this is Plaza Mayor de Palma de Mallorca and it's the main square here and it was one of the locations of the Spanish Inquisition right up until 1838. These days it's a popular area for cafes, bars, restaurants and artisan markets. I then went to the Basilica de San Miguel de Palma. Entry here is free, unlike some of the larger churches, and I could also take some footage too. And as you enter, there's a statue of Pope John Paul II to your right. It was constructed in the 14th and 15th centuries and went under further renovations in the 17th century, which is what you can see here today. And as you can see, there are still lots of restoration works being carried out. I was just about to go and repent my sins, then I remembered I didn't have much time in Palmer. Maybe next time. La Ramla del Duc de Palma de Mallorca has copies of two Roman centurions at its entrance, and the street itself is lined with trees and shops. It was actually the location of a riverbed until the flood in 1403, which led to thousands of deaths and the riverbed being moved outside of the city's boundaries. The branches of the trees offered plenty of shade, so this area was kept nice and cool even when it was hot during the middle of the day. And the 
bus stop back to Playa de Palma was at the end of the street. And there's also a taxi rank should you wish to travel further afield. And it wasn't long before I was back at the beachside bar, chilling out after a great day in Palma. And after a stroll around the beach, I was starting to get a little bit hungry. I found a great restaurant called Casa Leone. And yes, that's right, I'm an Englishman in a German resort on a Spanish island, sat in an Italian restaurant. How very European. And as you can see, there's plenty of choice on the menu and all the dishes are reasonably priced. To start things off, I had a glass of sangria. Well, I am in Spain after all. We then decided to share the fresh bread and aioli and the bruschetta, the which were very tasty. But mainly we had the ala and matrisana, which was bacon, mushrooms, tomatoes and onions on tagliatelle spinaci. And the fruity de mer, which was seafood and onion in a white wine and cream sauce with spaghetti. Both of these dishes were absolutely delicious and the restaurant comes highly recommended. I then had a final beer by the pool of the hotel before my flight to Marseille. Here I'll be boarding the Norwegian Epic and those videos are already available on my channel and I had such a superb time there, feel free to check them out. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on.